After the scooter engine oil comparison video, there was a big demand from you guys to use and share the experience with the Liqui Moly scooter engine oil. A long time back when things were normal for us and our machines, you guys saw the Vigo getting filled with Liqui Moly scooter engine oil. After that, the Vigo has experienced a lot from highway rides in the peak summer to super short grocery runs during the lockdown and of course the infamous Maharashtra monsoons from the past month or so. Coming to the engine oil, I didn't find any mention of the word mineral, semi-synthetic or even synthetic on the pack. However, the word high performance is highlighted about which we will discuss further in this video. This engine oil meets with the JSOMB standards for dry clutch systems which is mostly used in our gearless scooters. In the past, the Vigo has mostly experienced mineral-based engine oils, including the one from TVS. And this engine oil did make some difference, where minor improvement in fuel efficiency was noticed. And I'm mentioning this because the improvement was consistent for multiple observations. Just like most of the scooter engine oils, the Liqui Moly scooter engine oil meets with the dated API SL standards. And when Motul has entered the picture with its scooter Power 5W40 engine oil, we have to discuss some points of comparison. To begin with, the Motul already gets a margin for its grade along with its viscosity index of around 180 against the viscosity index of around 160 for Liqui Moly, which is already an excellent number. Having said that, the Liqui Moly scooter engine oil does have an edge with its better pour and flash points and more importantly with its higher TBN of 8.4 against the TBN of 7.2 from Motul, which plays an important role in engine oil's performance, especially when you're looking at long drain intervals. One gripe that I have with both the engine oils is in terms of usability, where they don't offer any sprout for easy filling. Scooters do have oddly placed oil filling inlet, where an integrated sprout makes the experience easy with negligible spills. I had to make this point as manufacturers like Gulf and Castrol are making this available at lower cost. Coming back to the Liqui Moly scooter engine oil, I must share this experience where the battery on the Vigo died during the lockdown and it was recently replaced. So for almost a month, the kickstarter was the only option where almost every time the scooter started with a single kick and the engine quickly got into its element. Even today morning when I visited my friend to borrow the scooter for a spin in the rain, the scooter started with a single press on the starter. So I can say our experience with cold starts are really good with this Liqui Moly scooter engine oil. None of the companies are paying me to say this, but I think I should add this point in this video that unlike most of the scooter engine oils, this oil comes in a 1 litre pack, which should be helpful for scooter owners with oil capacity of more than 800 ml. This brings me to the overall experience, which has been good just like this ride in the monsoon. This experiment with different engine oils will continue on this channel, with some other DIYs and interesting stuff coming up soon. So that's it for this video, and I hope you guys have liked it.